in this video we will discuss about encoders so what is a encoder it encoder is another type of uh, your combinational logic circuit it's similar to your multiplexer and demultiplexer but here there is no selection line and the operation is little bit different here so what it does let's understand so let's say there are four inputs fine so the inputs are like d0 d1 d2 and d3 are my four inputs fine so what a encoder will do it will encode the input to be displayed and to be recognized by two output what does that mean so that means if d0 is equals to 1 then the input is available across d0 and let's say in uh, that scenario all the other inputs are is equals to 0 let's say fine in this case what will happen this output will become 0 0 so what it will indicate 0 0 will indicate that the input is coming across d0 fine next is let's say the input is at d1 the input is at d1 means the value is equals to 1 here and all other values are 0 in this case then what will happen to the output the output will display as 0 1 so 0 1 represents that the input is available at d1 fine so there are four inputs you can see but at the end it is uh, means encoded to only two values from here we can know that which of this input is uh, uh, activated now if i go to the uh, truth table of this one then how to do so we have d3 d2 d1 and d0 are my four inputs and there are two outputs like a0 and a1 fine so as we discussed if the inputs are 0 0 0 and d0 is 1 in that case the output will be 0 0 fine next is if the input is 0 0 and d1 is 1 d0 is 0 if the input is available across d1 then here the output will be 0 1 fine so let me write this as 1 and this is 0 so this is a1 this is a0 next scenario is if the input is 0 1 0 0 that means d2 is available and a1 all other values are 0 in this case the value will be 1 0 now if d3 is available here then it will be 1 triple 0 d3 is available d3 is 1 and all other values are 0 in this case the output is equals to 1 1 so what is happening here basically this is representing that output is available at the 0th port this is saying output is available at first port this is second and this is third port fine this is a simple circuit uh, simple logic of encoder how it works now we will be to develop this particular circuit what is that inside the block we need to write the boolean expression and then we will be implementing that boolean expression so now we can see that i have two outputs here so i have i will have two boolean expressions so first is a1 so a1 is equals to how to write from the sop that we have understood that you have to write this value wherever the value is equals to 1 so here the value is equals to 1 and the corresponding input is d0 sorry d2 so here i will write d2 further the value of a1 is equals to 1 where at d3 so i will write here plus d3 so this is d2 plus d3 now if i go to the a0 what will be the boolean expression here the boolean expression you can see the one available is here and that is corresponding to d1 so here i'll add d1 another input is available at here another value of one is here that is corresponding to d3 so it will be d1 plus d3 so this is my boolean expression you must be wondering that d0 is not used but we'll see in the circuit the d0 will not be used it's not required we can understand that what is the uh, output in that case fine now we'll be developing the circuit so let me just uh, clear the screen and i'll just write that a1 is equals to d2 plus d3 and a0 is equals to d1 plus d3 so we'll just implement this circuit and see how does this work so to implement that what i need so i need here or gate and four uh, interactive switches fine so first i'll take interactive switches here so interactive switches i need four in this case this is for d0 this is for d1 then d2 and then your d3 
okay so let me rename this also so i'll just label this as d1 i label this one as sorry this one as d0 so this is as d0 this one i label as let's say d1 and then this one i label as d2 and the last one is d4 sorry d3 okay now we need two outputs here first one is a1 so how to get a1 so there is a or gate and then we have to add d2 and d3 to the or gate so we'll just take a or gate here So I need a two input OR gate here in this case. So I'll just take a two input OR gate and I'll place it here. Then I need another OR gate for A0 as well, fine, okay. So here what to connect, so A1 is what D2, D3. So A1 is connected as D2, one input is D2 and another input is D3. So this is my A1. Next one is A0 that is D1 plus D3. So here it is A0 and then D3 will be connected to this. So that I will just connect it here. Next what I need, I need a probe to verify the output. So for probe, I will go to all groups here and then I will search for a probe. So let me take a blue one for uh, A0 and I will take a red one for sorry a1 and this is a0 so we'll be just connecting this okay so now let me change this also the names of the probe that is a0 and uh, a1 so this one is a0 and this probe is representing now this is a0 the another one is a1 this is a1 and this one will be your a0 okay now uh, my all these things are done sorry this one is d1 plus so d1 plus d3 okay now we will simulate this and we will see what is happening there fine and at a time we are going to make only one variable is equals to one so if I run this now, so see if D1 is equals to 0, according to the truth table, the value of A1, A0 should be equals to 0, 0. So let me just write the truth table here. So D3, D2, D1, D0 and there are two outputs as A1, A0. So if it is 0, 0, 0, 1, then output is 0, 0. If it is 0, 0, 1, 0, output is 0, 1. Then 0, 1, 0, 0, output is 1, 0 and for 1, triple 0 the output is 1 1 so we are going to verify this one now so how to verify now if i make d0 is equals to 1 according to the first line the value of a1 a0 should be 0 0 so now it is 0 0 next i will make d0 0 and d1 is equals to 1 so if i make d1 is equals to 1 you see the a0 value is 1 and a1 value is 0 so that is what we are getting here fine now if i make d2 is equals to 1 then a1 is equals to 1 and this one is equals to 0 a0 is equals to 0 so this is also verified next one is if i make d3 is equals to 1 then both are equals to 1 so here both are equals to 1 now what we have done we have just created a encoder which is called as 4 cross 2 encoder why 4 cross 2 so 4 cross 2 that is because there are four inputs and two outputs okay now here there is a rule also that the number of input is always equals to 2 to the power n and the number of output is always equals to n okay so he uh, see here 2 to the power n total 4 inputs are there that means 2 to the power 2 and total number of output n is equals to 2 fine so that's how the encoder works now there is a problem here in this encoder so what is the problem so let's say if i make two inputs is equals to 1 then also it is showing 1, zero, one, one fine. If I make it two inputs again 1, D1 and D2, still it is showing 1, 1. 
So if I don't know that there is some error in the input and multiple number of values are equals to 1, then what will happen? Both the circuit will, both this A0 and A1 will be 1 and this indicates that the value is at D3, which is actually false according to the circuit. So to handle this, there is something called as priority encoder. So priority encoder will eliminate this issue that we will be discussing in the next video. So thank you.